हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अम मद्रास हाई कोर्ट्स केस लॉ एम जयशंकर वर्सेस श्री गोकुलम चिट साइन फाइनेंस कॉर्पोरेशन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड दिस केस इज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू 138 एनआई एक्ट राइट द पॉइंट इन्वॉल्व इन दिस इफ ए पर्सन इश्यू से चेक इन डिस्चार्ज ऑफ सम अदर पर्सन लाइबिलिटी देन हु कैन बी प्रोसिक्यूटेड इफ द चेक इज डिसऑनर्ड this is the point and coming to facts accused number 1 that is jay shankar has borrowed some amount from this chit fund company by becoming a subscriber he has become the subscriber thereafter he has borrowed some amount of money right and uh, he did not pay the borrowed amount and chit fund company has uh, informed him that informed him that a legal action would be taken against him then after listening to that he along with his wife that is a1 jay shankar along with a2 nagalakshmi nagalakshmi is the wife of jay shankar they both have come to chit fund company that is the complainant and a2 has issued check in discharge of a1's liability this is the point you have to be very careful who has issued the check a2 accused number 2 that is nagalakshmi that is wife of a1 has issued the check in discharge of a1's liability a1 has borrowed the money from chit fund company and a2 has issued the check in discharge of a1's liability then after after a stipulated amount of time the chit fund company has presented the check in the bank it was dishonored with an endorsement payment stopped by the drawer now what is the remedy available to him he has issued the notice as per ni act and he has initiated 138 case check bounce case against a1 and a2 then a1 approached the madras high court to quash the complaint filed against him under 138 ni act then high court went on to say this point that is i have highlighted here see if a check is issued by a person in discharge of the liability of another person right it is clear and if the check is dishonored the person who issued the check can be prosecuted under 138 ni act and even went on to say this point just because jay shankar was the beneficiary of the loan he could not be prosecuted under 138 of ni act for the dishonor of the check issued by his wife nagalakshmi so high court based on this point has quashed the complaint against a1 because under 138 ni act the person who has issued the check can be prosecuted and not the person on whose behalf the check was issued to discharge a1's liability a2 has issued the check so only a2 can be prosecuted under 138 ni act and not a1 this was held and uh, against a1 the complaint was quashed and a2 was directed even a2 has also filed uh, to quash a2 was directed to appear before the magistrate court Uh, for the speedy disposal of the case and not to adapt any dilatory tactics i think this point will help you in any other uh, case and uh, this is of madras high courts if i find any supreme court judgment with respect to this point then i'll sure um, i'll be sharing with you and thank you